just me or are uh, horror games kind of boring lately? Masaka. And before you freak out by me saying that, just let me explain for a second. I understand we've had Dark Deception Chapter 4 out. We've got potentially security breaches going to come out this year. But strangely enough, all of these announcements for these new things have gotten me missing the older horror days. Like for example, Amnesia, The Dark Descent. We've also got Five Nights at Freddy's in the old days. They were just such hype series. I've been thinking about this for a while. I even made a Twitter post about it. And I've had some of you even give me feedback about this. Let's see what you have said. I haven't really touched horror at all recently. Just kind of don't care about horror at the moment, really. <laughs> Do I ever relate to this? Before Dark Deception Chapter 4 came out, most of my attention went into At Dead of Night. That game came out, I'm pretty sure, last year. So what the heck is going on? I think it's starting to be that way. Maybe it's way too commoditized at this point and everyone has seen everything. Maybe that's so. Maybe all of the horror formulas out there have been exhausted. How many more times can we play Slender Man reskinned? How many more times can we basically play a high stakes version of Hide and seek. How can you make something like that, something so tried and true and basically overdone more exciting? I don't envy any horror game devs. In fact, I remember saying in one of these tweets that I don't envy any horror game devs who have to go and solve this problem. Now, I'm not saying that it's all doom and gloom and horror is over or something. I know somebody's going to assume that, but things have really slowed down and I understand that video games take time to make. This is something that I personally don't have a problem with. It just feels like there's less developer interest in the horror genre and that's having a spill effect onto the horror game fans as we can see. I just feel like besides Dark Deception, we have nothing really to be hyped about and maybe Security Breach really, but that's a stretch. What if that ends up being like... <laughs> What if that ends up being like a FNAF movie situation and that just keeps on getting pushed further and further? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Scott's out of the picture now, right? I don't know if he's like in the background or whatever. Oh my gosh, the whole Scott Cawthon thing is... <laughs> that is a different topic altogether. Oh my gosh, Scott... I completely forgot about Scott Cawthon. Whatever's happening in that situation, right? That's being taken over by a larger development team than like one guy and a couple of artists. But besides that, people will probably think something like Resident Evil 8 was hype or whatever. And you know what? Resident Evil 8 had fantastic marketing. I get it, everybody. There was a big booby lady <laughs> in Resident Evil. Evil 8, but that really didn't appeal to me from a horror perspective. And it is tough to get widespread appeal when not everybody wants to be scared by their video game. We're losing that edge, we're losing that atmosphere, and I just felt like I had to get that off my chest. I applaud all the devs out there who are currently working on a horror game to try and make it scary and quality, but I can't shake this feeling that the landscape and the communities that surround the horror genre are changing in some kind of way. I can't pinpoint what it is, it's on the tip of my- heck, maybe it's just that horror is just because Come boring. What the heck? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it is my anhedonia intensifying. But when you have so many other people also agreeing with me, you've got to admit that something's happened. Something is changing, and for some reason it doesn't feel like it's ever going to be the same again. Not like it was before. I'm going to get roasted for this video but I need outside perspectives. I need perspectives outside of the little circle that surrounds me in Twitter. 